Hello everybody, XB Gamer here, and welcome back to more Paper Mario Color Splash. Last time we completed Dark Blue Inn, uh, finding and helping all six ghost toads to get to their tea party. However, they are missing their beloved teapot. So this time we are heading into Plum Park, the garden behind the uh, inn, to hopefully find the teapot and maybe even a mini paint star. So without further ado, let's -a go. You look familiar. Do you have a brother or a twin or something? A guy named Loogie, maybe? Nah, that's not it. Anyway, I'm the greeter here at Plum Park. This park is owned and operated by the Dark Blue Inn. The purest water in all of Prism Island flows through this park. Speaking of water, my manager asked me to keep an eye out for a missing teapot, but that's above my pay grade. So you haven't seen a teapot around? Nope, I'm just the greeter here. I usually hang out by the entrance. Too bad we don't have a lost and found here. Ooh, I should suggest that. I should suggest that. Well, I guess it's up, up to us to find that teapot. Yep, but first I actually want to leave because I just forgot about something. If you remember... Right as we were outside of Dark Blue Inn, there was a colorless blue toad that we found. And that blue toad is one of the friends who appear in Fort Prisma talking about Piper. So we're going to head back there to advance that side quest yet again, just before I forget. At least I think it is. I hope it's one of them. Oh, geez, we got this. You've collected 10,000 coins. Alright, so we got one of the six already. I believe the other ones are a lot more difficult, though. I know one's like get all cutouts, one's all colorless spots, one's 200 excellent attack executions, which we'll probably get soon. And then I know one is um buy like 200 cards or something. Oh, geez, we got a full-blown tree growing up here. Whoa, the gang's all here. Well... Mostly here. Blue! I didn't know you were coming. Wow, it looks like we really are getting the band back together. And look, the tree's really growing fast. What's up with Piper, though? Sending out that letter and not even showing up himself. I guess I better keep it down just in case he shows up. He was usually pretty laid back, but when he got angry, look out. Remember the time we got ambushed by that gang of thugs? They all started making fun of Piper, saying his legs were short, his head was big. Really dumb stuff. Piper just laughed, just totally shrugged him off. But then they came after me saying, Why so blue, you crybaby? Which really hit home, you know? Since I am a crybaby and all. So I start crying and Piper starts gnashing his teeth and breathing heavy. Before I know what's going on, Piper jumps on one of them and swallows him whole. Piper had to lay low for a while after that. But those thugs never bothered us again, that's for sure. Such good friendship. <laughs> Piper was deceptively strong. He was also really good at dribbling soccer balls too, if I recall. So yeah, the whole gang's getting back together now. How much longer before Piper gets here? How much longer till these flowers bloom? I used to get Piper to throw me up in the air just for fun. He had a killer set of lungs on him. I was a bit of a crybaby back then, but I didn't know what else to do. We have a full-blown tree here, guys. We are watching a friendship reunite in the making. This Let's Play is just a bonus. The true meaning for this is friendship. Okay, anyways, now we have to waltz all the way back to Plum Park. And now that we're here... We can finally start looking for that teapot. Okay, so first off, these fences are purple, not blue. Um, so don't go around painting them all like an idiot. I've done that a lot. 
However I, however, I do suggest hammering them like an idiot because a lot of them fall over. Like that crooked one in the back right there, or er, right here. Okay, that one doesn't. Pearl hammer, alright, that's new. Uh, this stage. It's fun, it's neat, it's cool. But man, I get lost here so freaking often. And don't even get me started about the colorless spots. The colorless spots here are so difficult. Also, there are just Sniffits wa walking around in the poison. Uh, keep this in mind, this pink flower here. But uh, you can actually walk in the poison. However, you will slowly take damage, like you just saw. And one of the best things, like one of the most... One of my favorite details in this game, even though it does kind of suck, it's still a pretty cool detail. Oh jeez, I wanted to hammer him. Um, is that you can actually battle, like if you hit one of those, um, shoot, one of those sh sniffets while you're in the poison and start a battle with them, and you do that battle in, um, while in the poison, you will slowly take damage, like in the middle of the battle too, which I find is a really really neat, cool touch. Uh, guess we'll go with this. That should take him out. I'm assuming we're strong enough to take out Shy Guys now. Because Shy Guys are just about as strong as, um, Scaredy Rats are. If not, maybe even a bit weaker. But, uh, if I suck this much at action commands, I guess we won't find out anytime soon. Okay, so just basically try to remember where you've treaded, because there's a lot of, uh, stupid areas in this stage, and you can get lost quite easily. Also, like you just saw, there are some really dumb colorless spots here, like those little panels on the ground. So these are the pure waters of beautiful Plum Park, eh? Those guys, though, tell her big fat liars. The park is poisonous. Yeah, not not very clean waters. They they did lie. Okay, yeah, we can just flat out take out shy guys. Nice. Pretty soon we'll be taking out Schniffets. Iron jump times two. We can't jump over there. Just keep a close eye where you're walking, because there are a stupid amount of these. And, uh, it'll drive you insane going for colorless spots. If we head through here, we can make our way over this way. I'm gonna get so lost, God. Oh, jeez. Okay. I do not want to come here yet. That I'm certain of. Oof. He lost his wrath. Yeah, I don't want to go there yet. That area is too large. Uh, we'll come there later. That's like the main area of this level. Instead... Oh, God, Jesus. There we go. We can head over to these Sniffets. I hear they replaced the fountain with some garish teapot. Not really my thing. Tea and coffee's annoying little brother. I hear that some famous pop star is performing in front of the fountain. The shy guys are all about it, but we sniff it they're a little more discerning. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 no! No! Okay. Could have been worse. Alright, over here... Fountain of life, let the fountain heal your wounds. Yes, clearly, clearly that fountain is full of nothing but life. That poisonous fountain. Uh, so like I said, we aren't... Well... Oh, well if we can just do this, then I guess we will. Can I hit that? Thank you. What's back this way? Okay, so that's just the normal... That's what would happen if you went straight forward. Okay. Cool. 
Uh, are these colorless? No. We have one last little stone right there to color in. Cleansing Rapids. No cleansing allowed. The bridge is out. There's no way I'm risking getting all soggy. I'm out of here. Alright, well, away he goes. Actually, did I want to jump down here just yet? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but... Oh, God. If I'm correct... Yes! Staircase right here leads over to these three colorless bots. And oh my god, that was probably one of the worst. And they really know that by giving you a freaking replica thing card just for discovering it. Because who's just going to sit here and hammer the ledge right there? That I hated that one so much. Oh god. Oh god. Looks like we have to loop around here, so... Okay, we're back on the other side. Uh, we did go to... Yeah, that's the Fountain of Life over there. So now we can head into that giant central area. It's just that I always like to explore everything before going into the main area, because then you just get sidetracked even more. Okay, we have a ton of bloopers right there, and as you can see, they have some spots on their head because they are poisonous bloopers. Not simply normal. Okay, we head over this way. Mario, I heard the garden's water had been poisoned, so I came to investigate. But I can't find the water source. It's supposed to be somewhere around here. It's too bad this big stage is blocking my view. Apparently some pop star is performing. It seemed kind of suspicious to put on a concert when the garden is poisoned. I'll just watch the concert from back here and look for clues while I sing along. Ah, uh, no, you should get back to pulling out a giant turnip from the ground. No! Whew. That was a close one. Anyways, you can see a rather odd figure right behind that bush. Hmm. Looks kind of like Loogie, if I do say so myself. We're gonna cut that out. Listen to the audio cue. get 300 worthless coins since I'm already at max. And Luigi runs off. Oh, that might have actually been... No. I was gonna say that was what the sixth flag was that I wasn't thinking of, but no, that would just count as all cutouts. So, I don't know what the sixth flag is. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah, okay, I figured that was a stupid idea. Can't get back there yet. Make a clean exit right through the bloopers. Alright, and head back here because I don't want to get poisoned. And over this way, we have kind of a sucky maze of sorts. Yeah, you can die. You suck. Alright, oh, this one. We can knock that down. Uh, make our way over to here. Oh, God. Alright, oh, that one colorless spot we can't get yet. Because as you can see, none of these flowers are in bloom right now. That is unfortunately preventing us from doing much. I figured those four little windows looked a bit suspicious. Maybe they were cutout spots, but no. Aw, oh, dang it. I suppose we must battle. I 
they should wipe you guys out. Easy peasy, a quick and squeezy, that didn't make sense. But when do I? I feel like we are getting close to 200 excellent attacks right about now. But I mean, I also have no clue. Okay, over here we have this box which we can break. Oh, geez, big iron jump. potted piranha plant here that we do have to kill, I guess. Yeah, we do have to kill this thing. Uh, note to, well, not to self, but note to you guys, do not jump on this thing. I say as I use jump attacks, but they're iron jumps, so it doesn't matter. Because he will chomp your face off. That is something he will do. He will die. Okay, so now that that thing is brutally murdered. Along with that shy guy. Uh, I want to head right down here. Oh god. Get this colorless spot. Dang it, couldn't avoid that. Get this colorless spot. this. There's really just a lot of areas that have colorless spots that I feel like I'm forgetting. Oh, like that. Okay. Okay, that. That's where we went. That's where we came from, correct? What was over that way? Oof, I really want this stuff. Mushroom. I need to know what was over that way. Okay, well, there's this. Now we have quick, easy access to the other side without having to damage ourselves. Okay, what was over there? Through that door. I feel like we went there. But I mean, I also feel like I need to check. Oh, okay, I don't know how I missed that, but there's a toad here. I hope no one fishes out the coins I threw into this fountain. Uh, as soon as it's not poisonous, I'll do just that. But for the time being, I think you're safe. Okay, so I think that's all the colorless spots now. There's a lot of colorless spots here, so I might have missed a few. Oh, geez, I didn't even see this stuff back here. Anyways, now we can be a little boater boy and just fly around. Well, swim around, more like. There's really no purpose in swimming over here. Instead, we're going to head down this way. And get a nice second row seat of the show. Hurry up, the show's about to start.
When did we fall so madly in love? Those overdone purple eye shadow. You only call me by moonlight. It's in Doki Doki Panic. My heart flutter jumps Kiss me, my darling Oops, there's egg on your <laughs> What is wrong with you, Birdo? Also, what's with Birdo appearing in the recent Paper Mario games just to sing? Like, she appeared in Sticker Star and Color Splash, and her only role was singing. Birdo's a bit past her prime, but she's still got the moves. She didn't even move! She just sat there on a swinging crescent moon! My investigation of the concert confirmed my suspicions. Jazz hands are the height of entertainment. I mean, those hands were unnaturally jazzy. I've got to tell the captain about those jazz hands at once! As for you, why don't you go try to find that mountain? Or fountain. Code number one of the Yellow Rescue Squad reporting for duty. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must report to my captain in the Sacred Forest immediately. That was unexpected. I might have to pick that album up. The coast is clear. Let's take a look around. Alright, so we jump out of our little thingy thing. Wait, what did it say? Check. Oh, check through the star. There it is. It's the teapot. Okay. Make sure to squeeze these balloons. They may not seem like the most obvious like thing around, but you definitely want to uh, you definitely don't want to forget them. Oh, Jesus. Rounding out of room here. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, now Make the show. Brings a whole new meaning to behind the scenes, doesn't it? Uh, okay, nothing else. Fountain of purity. Pure water flows forth to nourish life. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think that, I don't think this is pure, my boy. Anyways, let's squeeze this poison spewing monster. Flora, knock it off! Flora, grave glass. Can't you see I'm poisoning here? Okay, that's a really bad voice, but this! Glass law, sweet freedom! Glombo gleep glass, you shall rule the da! Glurg, glurg, glurgle, organ glass. What am I thinking? These guys can't understand me anyway. <laughs> okay, this is... P.T. Piranha. Oh my god, I love that pun. Because like he was in the teapot and he has a little uh, tea, tea bag thing coming off of him. I love this. The, I love the entrance of this fight. Like... Petey is one of my favorite Mario bosses. I don't know why, I just love him. And you're squeezing that uh, thing and you just see no paint coming off it. Okay, that didn't do what I thought it would, but uh, alright. Oh god. That didn't do what I, uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, um, just, also don't jump on this guy. Um, just not noticing the color coming off, or noticing that there was no color coming off the teapot. You're like, what's going on? And then... All of a sudden, you just hear Petey. <laughs> okay. So this guy, uh, do not jump on him, like I said. He has quite a bit of health. So for the time being, just uh, keep on wailing on him, I guess. 
Actually, I'm gonna use a big iron jump. And then, you know what? We have quite a bit of replica cards, so I'm gonna use this here replica Limon. Oh, Jesus! Even if it's a... Okay. So you can't jump on this guy regardless. That I didn't know. However, we can. Uh, I have such a sour taste in my mouth right now just looking at this. Okay. So Petey was now blinded by lemon juice, revealing his weakness in practically every Mario game. His gigantic oversized belly baton. So now... Um, jump attacks are super effective against him now, first off. I'm just trying to find some good ones. And I guess we'll use this, because I don't have any big jump attacks right now. We'll see how much this does to him. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Aw, oh, dang it. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four. Aw, oh, dang it. Alright, so he's still down, though. Still down, indeed. Uh... You know what, we're gonna use a hurl hammer. Oh, Jesus. I forgot how much paint line jumps take up. This giant line jump took up so much paint. But it was Jesus that did a lot. That was definitely worth it, though. And then a hurl hammer. Okay, he's back up, sadly. Oh god, oh my god. Oof. Not what I was expecting. Uh, let's use a replica fan. See how much, see what that does against him. After healing up, of course, because I don't want to die to Petey. Okay, well, at least we're using up a ton of cards here. Like how his mouth is just open and he's just sitting there, not even animated. <laughs> That's what the fan looks like in battle. Okay, shoot, he's still up and he's still up and standing. That's not good. But he's dizzy. Okay, I know he's dizzy, but I still don't think it's a good idea to jump on him. I'm gonna assume. Uh, okay. Sadly, I don't have too many big cards to wail on this guy with. But we're whittling him down. Slowly but surely. Oh, jeez, now he's down, okay. Uh, I think he's still weak regardless of if we jump on him or not. I think if he's down, he's just weak to anything, not just uh, jump attacks, I want to say. I hope at least, yeah. Because this this is definitely doing, doing a lot of damage from worn out hammers. Alright. With that, he has been taken out. No ending line or anything, he just, he just dies. Now we can squeeze this here teapot. You got the teapot. Use the steep and poor tea at fancy tea parties. Also, I know this is a really weird time to mention this, but I figured I would, and I just now remembered it. There won't be a Perler Bead video for a while. Uh, and that's for a reason, though. It's because the Perler thing I'm making right now is probably the biggest thing I've ever made. Or no, it is the biggest thing. It's over double the size of the biggest thing I've ever made. Anyways... 
now that the place is unpoisonified, uh -huh, we can we can freely roam through the water and all the flowers bloom. Meaning, okay, looks like that teabag guy was the source of the poison. This place smells way better now. I also smell the unmistakable scent of a paint star. Let's take a stroll through the park before we return to the, the teapot to the inn. Okay, so a few things I want to do now, just right before we end things off. Now first off, it's faster to go to just jump through the water than uh, use that little thingy thing. Dang it, we can't get up there. Alright, we have to go this way. Uh, I want to get that last colorless spot. Because now that that flower is bloomed, we can indeed uh, jump up there and get it. So let's go do that real quick. Also, look at how bright and lively this place is now. Okay, that should be all of them. Now, wasn't it? I feel like there was something else I wanted to do. I think so. Right, I wanted to go pill for that guy's money. Just to see if he actually says anything or not. Or if it's just a way to get free money. I feel like it's just a way to get free money. I don't think he's actually going to say anything. Yeah, he doesn't say anything. Alright, well, there's free money if you want it. I just wanted to see if he'd actually, like, get mad or anything if he did take the money, but nope. It's just free money. Anyways, now that is everything. Well, first off, what do you guys have to say? The water here is so nice, it makes a guy want to obey, obey the law. If you approach the drawbridge in a bucket, it'll raise automatically. Technology is something, ain't it? Okay, the Sniffits are still here, the Sniffits are still here. The Sniffits are still here. Oof, okay. Oh god, and a blooper too. Uh, do we- I think the teapot- actually, never mind. I was about to say, like, wait, do we actually need the teapot for anything? And then I realized how stupid that was, because... Yes, we need the teapot for something, it's the- it's the teapot. We need to give it to the ghosts. I was about to say, like, oh, that's one thing card that we don't actually have to use. Oh god, but we didn't kill these guys just yet. But this will take them out. Excellent! Alright. Alright, the bloopers are still here, though. Fight me, please. Wait, how do we get up there? We need to raise the drawbridge or something by going in the bucket? If so, where's the bucket? You know what? I feel like that's gonna take a while, so instead... Uh... Never mind. Let's just go get the bucket, Jesus. I'm assuming we just need the bucket, because I don't know what else would be the case. We probably just get a bit of a higher jump out of the water with this, and that'll be enough to get us uh, up to that paint store. I'm assuming that's all. Uh, Slowly stroll along. I don't think the Sniffit can attack us while we're on this thing. The bloopers, however, that might be a different case. Yep, figures. I believe we have to fight them all now. Oh, a decent amount of them at the very least. Alright. This is dragging on a bit longer than I thought it would, but... Oof. The 
like jumps actually get less powerful as they go. That's something I didn't know. Okay, also, the, uh, the bloopers are no longer poisonous. Wait. Is there a poison blooper card? And if so, how can you get it now that there are no poisonous bloopers? Huh. Unless there just isn't a card for that. I don't know. But if so, that's an interesting question. Oh, well, max pain up. That'll be 300. Yep. Yeah, okay. All we needed was a bit of an ex of a bit of a height boost. Course clear. Okay. And this is the purple paint star opens the way to not only the Roshambo Temple, but it also colors in a crud ton of the sea. Okay, next time on Paper Mario Color Splash. We're gonna head back to the Dark Blue Inn. Well, head back to Port Prisma to get a letter, apparently. Then head back to the Dark Blue Inn, get them their teapot. Then head back to Plum Park, get that final paint star in there, which won't take long. And then, finally, head to Violet Passage. So we have a lot to do next time. So see you guys then.